Hey guys, it's Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to show you a really awesome third person character controller and we're going to take a look at the Jammer third person character controller. Then this is an entirely free 3D model which comes with animations, it comes with two materials, you can customize the eye color and you can use Mixamo's library to actually customize this. I do have other tutorials to show you how to create third person controllers, use cinema machine cameras and even use Cinti assets and all the things from the Mixamo library. I'll put all that down in the description. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 200 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out the free publisher asset on the Unity Asset Store for this week and all the things on Humble Bundle because there's music packs, entire collections of assets, and I'll put all the links down below. So first of all, if you go to the Unity Asset Store, it'll be the Jamo character and you can just press to add this to your assets and open up in Unity. Then when you do that, you just want to download and import the package and do add any custom packages if it asks you to import them. Then you can open up the Jamo character, go to scenes, and then you can just open the Jamo scene. As you can see from this selection here, you can see the character in the scene. You will be able to walk, control the character with the mouse so you can cycle around. So you could create even really cinematic shots. Depending on what you use, you can retarget the animations. You can move around set the rotations and I'll show you how to set this up and use it in your own scenes as well. What it doesn't come with by default is the, if you open up the prefabs folder, it will have the Jamo character by default. But what I like to do, I just like to drag the main camera down into the prefabs to create a prefab of that. Then take all the cameras that are currently there and add that to the prefabs folder too. And as you can see, I've got a brand new scene with those prefabs created. We can add the Jamo character into the scene and you can see it just here. You won't be able to see anything because we don't currently have a camera. You can add the entire cameras folder and then you can add the main camera too. Now the main camera is here and it just looks based on the other scene at the actual player. Now in that camera set of folders, I'm just going to get rid of the V cam and just use the free look because that's what we're going to be able to actually move around the object. Now it does have a follow and a look at and we can just add the Jamo character into this here. So we'll be able to follow and look at the character when we move around. So now when we press play, you can see that we get in our scene and we can move around the character. So you can look at the cameras and the free look camera. And then you can just the X and the Y axis speed, whereas the X axis speed currently now is the left and right. So we could just knock this down to maybe 100 and then the speed of maybe the Y axis to four. So now we can test this out and you can see I can look and down much slower left and right much more slowly so we can get a much more smooth look when we rotate our camera around then on the character you can also adjust things like the velocity we can make him move much much slower and you can see when i run around this scene though it detects the inputs the direction that we moved and the speed that we've got and you can see that there's some inputs to actually change what the eye color is of the character or to be able to control what state that it's in as you can see from the albedo list or the eye color on the character controller and if i press play on this then you can make him go to different states like there it looks more angry then it looks more happy or it looks a bit sad or worried so it's got some examples of switching the states based on what you want to be able to portray in your game and you can see that it has customization for the character skin it's got the input movements to be able to adjust how it moves. It rotates, it looks at, rotates the camera and any inputs that it uses. And it does use the default character controller from Unity, which I've got a first person character controller tutorial that I've just released recently. And you can take a look at that too. So I think this is a really great character controller for you to check out. And I hope it'd be really useful for some other people to check out too. So do be sure to come and check out the Patreon to get access to over 200 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings across Humble Bundle, the Unity Asset Store and this asset and all the other tutorials that I've mentioned. Massive thank you to all my patrons, but a big thank you to Peter Stein and Mike Cullen, Than Chu and Isidora Negri for their amazing support. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.